ladies and gentlemen, we have Johnny Jones and the Weapons of Happy Did you remember to tell Mrs. O'Malley about the leaking gas canisters? Here you go, Mrs. O'Malley. Thanks. No, I forgot. Oh, don't forget, babe. I can't bring up a child in these conditions. But you're not even pregnant yet. <laughs> Photos from the first gig. We're fresher in the buzzcocks. The good old bad old days. Man, we're washed up. I think I'll get that. Mm. Johnny, leave it. Keith Moon, Sid Vicious, now fresher. Drugs go with genius. He loved drugs. Yeah, well, now he's dead. Kev, Kev, it's him. It's him. It's Bono. Who? Well, Johnny Jones, Weapons of Happiness. We have gathered here today to share in the loss of Emrys Apjorweth, a.k.a. Thrasher. Anyone asks, I'm doing a movie soundtrack for Guy Ritchie's, right? Guy Ritchie, yeah. Right. Oh, look, look, look. Yeah. My Peters, the arm. What? Oh, oh, my God. Hey. Hey. Wow, Mike. Hi. Hey, Johnny. Hi. How you doing, man? Oh, cool, I'm cool. How are you? Oh, yeah, I'm not too bad. You're looking good. And you, you look great. Is this your boy? This is Dylan, yeah. All right there, Bob. Say hey, hi to Johnny, mate. Hey. This is Johnny from the Weapons of Happiness. We do not come here today with any glib answers. We're stunned. We're hurting. We haven't a clue what's going on. It's like the Thunder Rock Hall of Fame. They all turn out for Frasher's funeral. I'm not even that famous. I'm not famous in him. He loved music. He loved dogs. Death is the destiny of every My person. Diggle. Considering the circumstances. I hear the Buzzcocks are on a world tour. Any chance of a gig? And the weapons are up in the back to you. God rest his soul. I mean, if you need a guitarist, you know, in the Buzzcocks. Might be difficult to believe, but the Bible well, says it's yeah, actually mate. good for us to come here today. In Ecclesiastes, I've seen the weapons since we split. God says this: it is better to go to a house of mourning oh. than to a oh, house of feasting. God is saying it is better to come to a funeral than to a pub. Look at Robbie. How fat he is. Griff. He looks like a rocker with that ponytail. Ah. Uh, there he is. Minto. 
lost all his hair. Good. That's death for a rock star. Don't start where you left off, babes. Come on, you know, life's too short for enemies. Val! Oi, Tossa! You owe me money. I owe you nothing, mate. <laughs> Got you there. <laughs> Bloody hell, Johnny. Hey, you look like a bag of shit, mate. Well, look at that. Still got the same boots on. They were a good investment. All right, mate. Bit slitty wristy, really. Mental about Thrasher. I'd have thought heroin, choking on his own puke. Not angina. What's he expect? Didn't look after himself. Didn't eat properly. So where are you living now? Back home, London? No, I'm here, mate. Is Elaine here? Yeah. The two youngest ones are at home. Oh, look, Paris and Rio. Rio and Paris? What about you, Johnny? Have you got any kids or what? No. Do me a favour. Don't bring up the subject when Jules is about, eh? Well, you want to get a spurt on, mate. It's a well-known fact that birth defects rocket after the age of 40. Oh, what happened to you? Eh? Hey? <laughs> How old's your kid now, then? What, eight, nine? Well, the oldest one? No, no, he's 21. Bloody hell. He was two when the band split up. That was 20 years ago. Yeah, well, sorry about all that. Yeah, it weren't like you split the band up and then deprived us of our livelihood. Nothing important like that, was it? Well, frankly, it was the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. <laughs> so how come you never went back to London? How come? Because I got a licence to print money, mate. Here, look, look at that watch, right? Uh, look at the shirt. Roberto Cavalli, mate. <laughs> look, look. What's that say on now? It says B. B. B for Bentley. That's the car I drive. Bloody hell. I've got 17 nursing homes up and down the coast of North Wales. Bloody hell. Both kids go to private school. Very rock, Val, eh? <laughs> What about you, Minto? Oh, you're still doing the old radio jingles? No, I'm a photographer, videographer, weddings, birthdays, and funerals. In fact, we're doing this one over there. Pan -pan it's a typical crasher, isn't it? Not even a sandwich. I'll tell you what, why don't we all go back to the bistro? Champagne's on me. Hey, hey. Here's to the beast trying the old, good old, bad old days home. Coming back after all this time, boys, eh? God, we must have spent our fucking life in the rock box. <laughs> ah, rock do you remember box. that? Plymouth Hope. <laughs> Listen, Val said that she can give us a lift home, so are you gonna, are you gonna come or are you staying here? Yeah, I think we might shoot. I don't think so, Jules. He's got to buy another one of these for us. Jules, Jules. Sit about for me. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Are you late? Can we just crash it rubbish, eh? I'll see how we go, eh? Don't go to sleep. <laughs> no, I'm talking to Joe. Don't get in any trouble, all right? No, you don't listen to him. Are hey, your missus? Not Joe. No, no, she's not my missus, no. You dirty bastard. What? <laughs> what about this then, eh? It's like a castle. It's a manor house. It used to be long to Henry VIII. I think we'll take it to the East Wing so I don't wake the family up. Oh, oh Milo! <laughs> Welcome to my lair. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, look, have a look up there. Bring back memories. Uh, uh, Who designed uh, this? Danny Minogue. God, we look a lot younger there, don't we, eh? <laughs> look at that. Oh, you fat, yeah. long-haired hippie bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, all that time ago. Look at us. Oh, <laughs> That was that dental nurse from Durham. What a bunk up. Best sex I ever had. Yeah, have a look at that. Oh, Nick from the Bay City Rollers in 1975. Oh, that is better than sex, mate. That is something else. <laughs> look at that beauty. Yeah, look. Uh, that was you. Look. <laughs> have that one. Hang on, it's only got one stream. What's up with you? So you like a skiffle, bass? I haven't changed a bit. Look at that. Oh. Right. Oh. All right. Get on the drums. Do you want to plug it in? Yeah, let's plug it in. I'm a bit rusty, though. Oh, sound like a tin man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good sound, isn't it? Is this your drum kit? Are you kids? Boy. Yeah. What are you playing? Three chords. You yeah. can write a great punk song with three chords. Wait a minute. That sounds great. Yeah, let me, look, let me record it. Wait a minute. Yeah, you, you, you got an eight track No, I just do it on the computer. Oh, I design all my own websites and everything. Now I'm a recording engineer now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, do that thing. Yeah, is it? Do it. Yeah. 
the toilet's down the hole. I've already spewed up in that ice bucket. Oh, charming. That's good. Who's that? It's us, last night. Us? Yeah, well, I've put a loop on it and spliced the vocals, but basically, it's us. That's us. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's better than what we had the first time, Matt. You remember that? Finished mixing it yet, Robbie? Yeah, I've just finished. Robbie, you got the Uncle Salsa? Yeah, in the kitchen. Good, Uncle. That's dead good. Make us a cup of tea while you're at it. And me. Yeah, me. I made it last time. What last time? Sound Studios, 1993. It's Griff's turn. Just make the bloody tea! That is ever. That's blinding, that is. That could be a hit. <laughs> Wouldn't it be something? Back in the charts after all these years. It'd be a bloody miracle, that's what it would be. Oh! Where's the tea bags? Next to the old brand. You know what we should do? Put it out as a single. Announce to the world, weapons of happiness are back. I'm not back. No, I'm too busy. I've got better things to do. Better than being in a band. Better than having a hit single. Come on, Robbie, don't tell me don't miss being in a band. I don't miss touring about in some crappy old van and living like a refugee. And we ain't got a recording contract no more. When the old label get a load of this, they'll sign us back up in no time. Yeah, right. Make sure the money gets split four ways this time. Oh! Don't want to get screwed over again like we were last time. You got 15% on songs you never wrote. What other band does that? You too. Well, you save Africa from poverty like Bonio did, and I'll give you 10% more. I'm not interested, mate. The band split up years ago. That was the end of that chapter. These are great things, aren't they? I'm going to get a tea. That's a horrible bloody cup of tea. Well, you go down and make it, then. <sighs> Jules! Jules, I'm back! What? <laughs> Johnny. You got to hear this. I'm trying to sleep. Have you only just got in? Yeah. And I feel brilliant. I haven't felt this good in years. Where did you dig that up? We did that last night. Last night? It did you sound like one of your early ones? I oh, know. But better. This could be a hit. Yeah, probably. Probably, no, 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 definitely. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. No, you're actually thinking of doing this, aren't you? Yeah, why not? Johnny, because we came in for a funeral. We didn't come back here so you can get the band back together. I'm not getting the band back together. I just want to put out a record. I've got an appointment at the fertility clinic. Look, I want to go down to London, look, up on a train to the old record no company. No way! No way! We'll be back way. in London in a couple of days. No. Listen, I'm doing this for both of us. If this record hits, right, we'll be rich. You can have as many babies as you want. Can I have that in writing?
Conley. Who? Stuart Conley, head of a &R. Nobody by that name works here. Jim Breen's head of a &R. Well, tell him Johnny Jones, Weapons of Atmos is here to see him. Do you have an appointment? Listen, mate, I recorded three gold albums for this company. I don't need an appointment. OK. Buzzcocks. Yeah, we opened for them at Eric's in Liverpool back when we started. Who? The Buzzcocks. You like them? Never heard them. I just collect Vince's T-shirts. Heard of my band? Weapons of Happiness? No, but I've heard of Liverpool. Ah! Johnny, pleased to meet you. Great to finally meet you. Yeah. My dad loves you. He dressed a bit like you growing up. Listen, have you eaten? No. We've got a spare half an hour. Come on, let's carry this conversation on down the pub. That was some food. Did you have a great lunch? I don't even eat. Oh, you're a veggie, eh? Paul McCartney's wife's sausages. We had them. What? Linda McCartney's sausages. Pretty good. Didn't you guys break up? Just if we book you on a world tour? No. I was an intern when it happened. Mental mate. Who breaks up a band when it's going that well? Well, here's the good news. We're back together again. We're better than ever. Want to resign us? The major labels are sniffing about, but we're loyal. I'd love to sign you. But you're just not on our demographic. I'm just a cog in the machine, but our remit is tweens to twenties. The Jammy Dodgers? Bling bling? Bling bling? We're just sat on room service up in Newcastle. They're still at school doing the rail levels, but they're genius. They only were monochrome. Who's the singer? Charlie. Charlie? Yeah, he's asked for my songs. Which Charlie? Singer Charlie. Charlie's a girl. Yeah, I know Charlie's a girl. I'm thinking of another Charlie. I get confused. These kids, they ring me up all the time asking for my material. Well, in the hands of someone like Charlie Gautier, it'd be more a statement of ironic anxiety about influence if she's calling you. She's a cultural wit. You need to listen to this, it's great. I have no doubts, but our company doesn't want to sign anyone over the age of 30. It's like watching your parents having sex. You got any royalty checks on time? Not as much as I'd like, but yeah. Mm. I can't wait to tell my dad I've seen you. <laughs> I took so many happy memories of growing up. Right, the best of Just listen to this. Yes, I respect you too much to waste your time. Hey, this is room service now. This is Charlie singing. Oh, I found this girl. Amazing, isn't she? Gotta get back. Ciao. What's so good about this? Doing that years ago. Tenders. One in that way. We can have it that way. You want image? I'll give you image. Welcome to my creation. Jonesy, you still wearing those boots after 20 years? What are you doing here? Yeah, well, I was just passing. I thought I'd uh, drop by, yeah? No, I'm with Chris. It's OK, he's with me. You still making music? Nah, nah, it's uh, like watching your parents shag. I'm a manager now. I've got this uh, genius band out of Wales. Four young kids, yeah? Takes five for a successful band. Five? Yeah. One of them wants to go to art college, but I won't let him. They got a great look. Really original, man. The single shots. Nice name. Yeah, great name, mate. Massive on the Welsh underground, yeah? We're selling thousands of units on our website and they're still doing their A-levels. They got a kind of, you know, it's uh, like a uh, primitive urban punk vibe, yeah? And guess who's going mental for them? Want them on their tour, hmm? Vroom service. Nice. I'll give them a listen later. i better get back onto it now. Nice to see you. Thanks for dropping in. Take care. This Thanks is Chris Knowles on Sound One, Radio One, 103, and this is The Beatles. Is really the I told you, no one's interested. We'll find another record company. 
Rome weren't built in a day. No, but it fell in one, didn't it? Minto's right. Just drop it, John. We're too old for this. Do you want to put the tickets in there, babe? Yeah. You OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Just looking forward to getting back to Ireland. It's us. It's our record. I'm unpacking. Uh, Mrs. Hanratty's had an accident. Sunshine Care Homes, Robbie speaking. Robbie, turn the radio on. We're on Sound Radio One. Yeah, they sometimes play us on the 80s flashback set. No, mate. Free, free rock and roll! Oh. Free rock and roll! Free rock and roll! Free rock and roll! Go for the throw! Yes, destroy the sisters! Smash it all up! We've done it! It's free rock and roll! We're on! We're here! Yes! We're back on the right. I told you, when it's from the art, people feel it, eh? <laughs> the great unsigned band out of Wales, the Single Shots. This is huh? Chris Knowles on you are? Sound... Single Shots? Hang on. It's on there. It's not a big deal. It's not that big a deal. We get an airplay there and no-one knows it's us. Exactly. We're coming in under the radar. It's perfecto. Perfecto? We haven't even got a bloody contract. It doesn't matter. The DJ thinks the single shots are the kind of hot young band the record companies are looking for. Yeah, but it's not them, it's us. And what a stupid, stupid bloody name. We're too old. Mr Dobbs needs the toilet. No, he just thinks he does. He's got a bag. If people don't take weapons of happiness seriously anymore, I say we give them what they want. A virtual band. What do you mean, like, computerise ourselves? No, we are a load of spotty kids to so stand in for us, mime our music, right? And when the single hits the charts, we reveal the scam to the press and sham the corporate tossers for the hypocrites they are. Oh, right. And whose money is going to be paying for the ire of these school kids? Yours, mate, because it ain't going to be mine, I'm telling you. We chop them in on the profits, yeah? Very entrepreneurial, don't you think? I ain't got time for this. I've got a business to run. Yeah, and I can't give them a job. You don't have to. The fake band do all the work, and we laugh all the way to the bank. Well, I suppose I could do with the extra cash. You know? All I know is, right, I'm on the radio and I want to get paid. Now, if that means that we have to hire a bunch of talentless, spotty school kids to get it... All right. All right, so be it, mate. I'm watching you. This is the sound of the future calling, breaking news on the hour every day. This is the sound of tomorrow now, the revolution. It's a rock and roll swindle. Wherever you are. Free rock and roll. Free rock and roll. Sorry, I missed that. Sorry. Free rock and roll. Free rock and roll. Free rock and roll. Oh, oh, oh. Look for the throw. Destroy the system. Smash it all up. Lose control. Start a revolution in your living room now. I was told there'd be one. Go for the throw. Destroy the system. Free rock and roll. Free rock and roll. Smash it all up. Free rock and roll. Free rock and roll. Free rock and roll. Uh, I can't really play guitar. Why do I have to be a girl? Told you'd be like this. 
Must be his time in a month. There's a lad outside wants an audition. Tell him to piss off. We got a band. Yeah, I, I tried, but he won't go away. He's a real pain in the ass. All right. Auditions are over, mate. Yeah, well, your band's gonna be shit without me, so, uh... uh... <laughs> Listen, you spat that kind of cock in this when you got three gold records. What's your name, Drain Pipes? Drain Pipes. Who were? Uh, she reminded her of Johnny. Same puffy strut and pussy manner. I'm a shadow in the shape of a man. You may say I'm shallow, but I say I'm blind. Everywhere is my hometown, but I'll okay, stay... Okay, Donovan. Put your name and number in the bin on your way out. Mate, I ain't done yet. You're finished, mate. Finito. Kaput. Ooh. It was a bit harsh, wasn't it? Audience is harsh, yeah. <laughs> Can't bear anyone else being a centre of attention, mate. Oh, yeah, what's that supposed to mean? Well, you're still the same, aren't you? Hmm? Can't share it, it's all got to be about you, innit? I mean, that is why he split up the band. I split up the band because my dad died. I was on my own, and all you cared about was going on tour. No card, no acknowledgement, no nothing. That's not why he split up the band. Yes, it is. Hang on a minute. Not that close to your dad. No, you weren't. It was my dad. He lot doing my fucking head in. <laughs> I've said him a lot. <laughs> yeah, I've you or the last fella. Down like chewing gum on the bottom of your feet You're holding me down, you're so sticky and so sweet I don't know why you think you're in control Cos every... Hey, what? Do you own the streets or what, mate? What's wrong with you? Sonic, Simon. I don't know why you think you're in control Who's Simon? This is Simon. Hello, Simon. Time for you to go, I think. What? Time to move up. All right, I'm going, I'm going. I'll move. Thank you very much, little man. Right, I'm going, I'm going. Take the case with you. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm really messed up here. Messed up. I don't know what to talk to. No one. I got no future. You get better than that, mate. Come on. 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 Right, are you going to take him away? Do you know this man? Yes, he's my... He's... I'm taking him home for some old-fashioned discipline, sir. OK? I don't want to see him again. He's here again and gets nicked. Thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 I went to see the sex business, right? My old man was straight <laughs> Where the bloody hell have you been? Found a singer. No, no, no. We have found a singer. I've chosen this guy. <laughs> we have chosen this guy. No, I choose a skinny kid in the drain pipes. No, the one that struts like a peacock. What? The one you said you didn't like him. What are you on about? Cocky little barks, eh? He's my man. He's my man. He told me the third thing. I'm fucking. He said you weren't gonna speak. Did yeah, you? but I. Get out of there!
turning my studio into a bloody doss <laughs> Stop rolling, mate. I don't get it. Why have we got to move into this dump? Because you've got to look like a real band. What's that got to do with us shacking up together? For this to work, it's got to appear like you spent every waking hour together, rehearsed endlessly, slept on top of one another in the tour van, done everything else an upstart band has done. Just to lip sync to some song. You're not some ventriloquist dummy. You're here to sell an image. When the press talk to you, you've got to know what it was like. Who your influences were, who came up with the name of the band, why, your first gig. Who was shagging whose girlfriend? What beer your bandmates drink, what clothes you wear, who and what drives you mad. You've got to eat, sleep, fart together as a unit. Girls don't break the wind, Johnny. Well, I thought we were joining the band, not the army. How much are we getting paid for this? You pull this off, trust me, you'll be raking in thousands. Yeah, but what's our percentage? I want a contract. Yeah, same here. Yeah, and I want a solicitor to look over my contract, please. And me. You're not here because of your talents. Don't get any bright ideas. You look good, that's all. Now, pick up your instruments. They ain't cheap ones, so be careful. Hmm. I'll tell you who looks the best. The weasel. <laughs> it's a ferret. <laughs> You're supposed to sort this out. They can't even hold the ruddy things. Yeah, well, do the pose. One, two, three. <laughs> At least she can count. <sighs> All right, they can stay. But we better get them looking like they know what they're doing. Or we're up the proverbial creek. Without a ladder. Or a platform shoe. Remember that? Yeah. And then the reverse pyramid, triangle. No, no, the other way round. What are we going to do about his trousers, Johnny? Tie her bag here, they shouldn't fit. Well, we could sort of turn them up a little bit at the bottom. Shut up! He's got to practice, otherwise he'll never learn. Griff, get him on guitar. Give it a rest. What are you going to do with his hair, anyway? I don't know. I think it looks all right. Um, just make sure it don't look like yours. Charming. Right. Right, what is the deal with these, um, these school uniforms? We're not an ACDC cover band, are we? It's got to appear like your old schoolmates. How are you going to do that? Technology. Who's calling for the phone? Hey! Hey! Come here. Hey! 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 When you make me look a bit younger, add some acne. Acne coming up. Pizza? Yeah. <laughs> Mine's a pepperoni. There's a review coming on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't roll. Um, with a flashing blur of stripped-down excitement, the single shot gig at Madison Square Garden's laid waste to everything in its path. No, no, you wouldn't have done your first gig at Madison Square Garden. Change the venue to somewhere like I'm a real pavilion, yeah? Right. Look, your head's much better. Off the head, Johnny. Look, look, up there. Team to age them, and then there we go. It's wild. Yeah, I know, right? I used to sell um, fake ticket stubs outside the cavern in Liverpool. Work to treat them, work to treat now. That was Rock Sound magazine on the phone. I've also had a call from MTV. I don't want to scare you, but the heat is on. If I were you, I'd take your rubber gloves off and start practicing. <laughs>
see what I see? I'd say that that is our first album cover. Can I get that next one? Oh. Yeah, I'll get yeah. one of those. What's going on here? Oh, here he is. Come down now. Yes, come down, come down. Yeah. He's up, lad, isn't he? He's down drain pumps. I don't know what to do with the boy. You told me you'd sort him out. No! I'm very sorry. And Simon says, catch a ladder! I think we're ready to open the floodgates. So, just stick to what we rehearse and let the show be good. Standing on the corner, what do you see? Standing on the corner, looking at Hello? me. Hello? Are you um, Billy from the Roxanne magazine? Yeah, I mean. I'm Danny right. Jones, all right? Hi. Thanks for coming. Thank the BBC. If they weren't on radio, I never would have heard of them. Well, they've dominated the Welsh indie scene since they did their first gig about a year ago. Well, they haven't had any press outside Wales till now. Well, I've been very careful with them, but the bubble's about to burst. They're ready to take on the world. Hold on a minute, MTV. So, your self-produced demo's been getting quite a lot of airplay lately. How does that feel? Finally, being recognised for the musical geniuses we are. Are these biscuits for you? Do I have to pay for them? So, who are some of your influences? Weapons of Happiness. Weapons of Happiness. The Kinks, uh, Sex Pistols, Johnny Funders, lots and lots Can of you let them speak? Yeah, yeah, Johnny, let us speak. Um, Nick Ashley. Aerosmith. Buzz Cop. Slipknot. Vampire Weekend. Duran Duran. Really? Because you don't sound anything like the bands you say you've Well, Des O'Connor influenced me, but that don't mean I wrote Dick a Dum Dum. <laughs> <laughs> you don't write anything anymore, though, do you? So, your press kit says that you met in primary school. Yeah, we're old friends. She was the first person to touch my dinky do. No. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. My pet ferret dinky do. So, whose idea was it to actually start this band? Zed. Nice. Nice. <sighs> Johnny had Z with the band. Didn't know you could speak Welsh. There's a lot of stuff you don't know about me, Johnny boy. I'm mean, a lot, you mean go by damn There you go. What are you saying? Um, the band was a group thing. No, it was her idea. Right but Drain Pipe put up the flyer. Yeah, and Zed helped me with the designs. But I forgot. Because I forgot. Leave the boys alone. <laughs> that happen happens. <laughs> All the time. We used to it. Right, that's all I've got. All right, go on, off you go. So, what do your parents think about all this newfound fame? Oh, my mum's well pleased. Yeah, she's um, she's had enough rock stars to appreciate what it means. You what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She used to be a big old groupie back in the day. Shagged her way up and down the charts. With who? Like punks and new romantics and dabbling in a bit of grunge as well. How oh, does your father feel about that? Well, I don't know who he is. Your mum never told you? Oh, no, she said it could be half the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She must have some idea. Well, I've been told that I look like Morrissey, but then someone the other day said that I've got eyes like Nick Hayward from Haircut 100. Who do you think it is? Well, let's put it this way. Come here. Fuck. You know that rumour about David Bowie being hung like a horse? Well, I have got living proof that that ain't just a rumour. <laughs> All right, then. Write that down. <laughs> the single shots of the newest, snottiest and best kids on the block. This unsigned band has a three-minute killer pop song that is destined to crash the punk party, drink all the beer and cop off with the Keatons girls. For what? <laughs> they are falling for it. Give me Johnny Jones on the phone. He says what exactly the fresh new sound kiddies of today are looking for. Well, they really want to sign us. Sign them, you mean? He's going to release a single, right, with an option on two albums and a European tour. That's brilliant. How come you're the only one going over there? If we all turn up there, they're going to think something's up. Yeah, Johnny's right. We've got to appear like we've got nothing to do with it. Hang on, it's just like last time, isn't it? He gets all the credit, right, and we're just sat there holding our dicks. Fine. All right. Next time the company calls, I'll put it on speakerphone. Right. Happy now? Right. <laughs> yeah. See, that's how you negotiate a deal. <laughs> I can. I can. 
man. <laughs> I can run faster than you. Much faster than and you. And I always could, Johnny. You know what that is? Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. What is it? Viagra. Where'd you get that? I got it off um, Robbie. It's about an hour to work. Hang on to this, babes! I've got a boner! Here comes Johnny! Way! Don't worry, you won't have to play your instruments. And remember, it's about attitude, right? You're just sticking two fingers up at the world. They can't bite the hand and feed you. Won't that piss off the fellas we're trying to impress? Yeah, man. The pressure a bunch of sadomasochists. They want you to spit on them, they love it. It's like I was born for this. <laughs> Hacks, scribblers, and filth mongers. <laughs> Welcome. I am proud to introduce to you the single shots, the newest and the finest signing to Circuit Records. The finest thing to come out of Wales since Cole Meat and Tom fucking Jones. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah. Is, it true, hey. is it true that Drain Pipe is the illegitimate son of David Bowie? Yeah, I prefer the term bastard, actually, so... <laughs> so. Are you willing to take a DNA test to prove it? Well, if you can get a jizz sample from the bloke, yeah, I can, <laughs> I can give it the old turtle pull. Where can you get a jizz sample from you? Huh? It depends. You you? What's your daughter like? <laughs> <laughs> right, well, without further ado, we'll get to the moment you've all come here for our contract. Thank you. How much is that contract worth? None of your business. Group photo, please, guys. I'll get you back in the bar. Well, how does it feel to be the bridesmaid, not the bride? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you're like an old racehorse that's out the pasture, and these kids are running the torpy. It's got to hurt. <laughs> Everybody say bye the Anna Feed. One, two, three. Bye the Anna Feed. Congratulations, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming. What's next? Thank you very much, guys. We'll see you at number one. A few ideas for the music video. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny, love to hear them. I mean, I'm out to this phenomenal. Phenomenal. I'm 23 year old music director. The guy's got three MTV music awards. He's rocking. He's hot right now. He is the fish in your fish finger. He's a custard in your trifle. Ah, well, Mr. Fish Finger, we did the weapons videos ourselves. Want to do this one? Well, Johnny, but you know the business. My hands are tight. This is a circuit investment. It goes above me, it goes beyond listen, me. Mate, listen, Jimmy, mate, we don't do it ourselves. We don't do it full stop. That is it. That's it. Cool. Look, that's cool. That's perfect. Congratulations, man. Fantastic. I Great know. to have you on board. It's great, it's great to have you on board. I mean, those weapons videos were, uh, they were certainly very interesting back in the day. Cheers yeah. to you, my yeah. friend. The best thing since sliced bread. You sure you're up to this? One time, baby! Oh, I don't need you to do that all the time. Alright guys, what's happening? You're causing obstruction. Look it off, we're filming. Can I see your permit then? Said bugger off. 
Can I be in it, then? No, uh, uh, no, you can't be in it, Simon the policeman. Right. What are you doing now? Sign here. What for? Autograph. Please. Call the police. <laughs> I couldn't talk to my old man, right? He wanted me to work in the post office like him, and all I wanted to do was rebel against him. Mm. What about you? What about your old man? Don't know. Right? You don't seriously think David Bowie's your old man, do you? What's your mum think? No, she's moved on. Here you are. Here's a picture of you with my mum. 92. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lie. Just look out there. What's wrong? I've had a shock. Remember those gigs we did with you two back in the day? At a Roxy? All those Norwegian groupies. Drunken Nordic teenagers. Yeah. How could I forget? Well, remember that mad Geordie bird? Wore a baby doll, striped socks, made Courtney Love look like a Mother Teresa. Yeah. Well, I slipped to one on the Marshall stack. Nice one. Yeah. Well, a couple of months later, she shows up at one of our gigs with a belly out there. I ask, is it mine? But she don't answer. She just wants to know if I can get her a backstage pass to Glastonbury. So what'd you say then? Well, I, I get the pass and forget about her, as you do. Yeah. She's Drain Pipe's mum. He's your son! <laughs> My son? What's Jules gonna say? Oh, well, she ain't gonna be too happy, is she? <laughs> well, one thing that birds don't like is that their old man's sperm <laughs> Spread Ain't funny. <laughs> oh, he's the bit of you. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake, don't say that. <laughs> and don't tell any of the band, right? <laughs> oh, that's nepotism, that is, mate. Yeah. I'll tell you. My son, the lead singer. I won't say a word, I promise. Minka's going to love that. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. Don't. <coughs> I'm choking. Don't. <coughs> Searching around for a potential dad for ages now. It's sort of like a little hobby of mine I've got. Is that why you join this band? Yeah, of course it is. I don't need this. Unlike the rest of you, I can actually play. We are practicing, we're getting good. Yeah, mate. Okay. Well, let's have it then. Maybe the cheekbones, but not the rest. No? No. Okay, right. Forget about the hair, but. <laughs> no. Okay. Johnny, well, do you really think? Are you gonna confront him about it? Oh, yeah. And say what? Oh, you might have got my mum up the duff. How about a fucking hug? Well, the nurse has just come back with your urine sample. All right. OK. Yeah. And I'm delighted to tell you, Jules, that the test is positive. H how do you, what do you mean? That you're pregnant. Get lost. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Come on, what do you mean? I can't be. I know it's a shock. I can see that. Congratulations. I'm pleased to tell you such good news. <laughs> Down three places at number 12, Greenhouse of Terror, go for it. Up two at 11, New Mercury Sound. No change at number 10 for Broom Service, down to the your measure. Up eight places at number nine. We go outside for a minute. Shh, shh, shh. Down three places at eight. Johnny, I just want to talk to you for a minute. Yeah, in a minute, in a minute, in a minute. Right. bursting into the chart at number seven, this is the hand that bites from the single. Yeah! Oh, my 
time. I went to the doctor's today, Johnny. I had a test done. And, um, it looks like... I've got a son. You what? Drain pipe's my son. I, honestly, I didn't know. I didn't know until just the other day. Get out. <laughs> We should break it now, Tony. Yeah, the plan is to wait, mate, right? What's well, not the plan? Hmm? Let's jump on it, get our names out there again. We do it now, we'll kill it. Just when it's getting momentum. Bollocks! Now, once they realise it's us, well, sales are gonna double, aren't they? If that was the case, silly bollocks, we wouldn't have to do all this, would we? You know what, Tony? You're gonna ruin it again, aren't you? Just like you did the last time. Oi, Minda, this is a band, this is, and it ain't yours. So! We do it now, right? We tell them it's weapons of happiness. I'm looking out for my family, Johnny. Same as you. Has he not told you why he's got such a vested interest in that bunch of phonies getting all the line, mate? What are you on about? Drain pipe. It's Johnny's kid. You had a kid with David Bowie. Thanks, Robbie. I never said a word. Yeah, right. No, no, no. no I was in the cubicle next door, and you told Robbie. Thanks very much. Do I get an apology now? You might be my kid. He ain't definite. He's yours. So basically, you're going to sell us down the river, are you? So that your kid could be the next big thing. Ain't true. So why keep it a secret, Johnny? Why don't we tell everybody it's the weapons of happiness? You are going to mess this up. We don't reveal it's us till I say it's gone as far as it's gonna go. You got that? We ain't changing the plan. Wait, they're all here. Keep it down. Got it? Don't you fuck me about. It's all a scam, mate. Everything, CDs, videos, the lot. We're the single shots, the weapons of happiness. That lot are just puppets. We just pull the strings, everything they do, just mime into it. And that kid, Drainpipe, that's not David Bowie's son. That's Johnny Jones's kid. He did what? Told him everything. Video, the song, everything. Yeah, even the bit about Drainpipe being your kid. Who gave you the right to do that? Nobody. I did. The truth fell out, Johnny. You're a twat, Minto. All oh, right. That must be why Jimmy wants to meet us down in London, then. Hmm? Right, send a limo. Pick us up, take us down there. See? That's what happens when you get me to do a bit of management. You're gonna go along with all this? Well, we ain't got much choice, have we? The genie's out in the bottle now. Not only that, rock sound, I've asked us to do a live gig. On TV. Weapons of happiness. No. Single shot. Well, now they've got weapons of happiness.
We don't need you anymore. What? What, just like that, out of nowhere, you, you just spring that one on us, dear? Sorry, you'll get your, uh, cut of roll Told you, though, didn't I? What did you expect? I didn't expect anything better from him, did I? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know, mate. I'm just a dancing monkey, aren't I? Is this about me and your mum? No, you listen, you keep my mum out of it. I don't know what you think I did to her, but if you've got something to say, just come right out and say Boy, it. What is the point, mate? It's all just water under the bridge, innit? It's not as if I didn't care about her situation. Yeah, but you weren't there. You were not there for long enough to find out if the baby was yours or not. I was in no position to be a dad, Why? was I? Why not? I was a rock star. I wanted to smash up hotel rooms, didn't I? I wanted to take drugs, get girls, not push around a pram and change nappies. What do you want from me? My dad. But I'm not! I don't want to be no one's dad, so go away! Fuck off, mate! You're a wanker, Johnny! Great to be back in a limo, eh? You guys. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on pulling off such a rock and roll swindle. Oh, you had us all fooled? Well, not just you, was it, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> everybody. In showbiz. <laughs> everyone. It was. It was everyone. <laughs> Which is why we won't be making the information public. You won't be making the information public until it goes to number one. Oh, no, no. We, we, we won't be making the information public, ever. Well, hang on a minute. What about Rock Sound TV? We've been booked to play. It's live. Kids can't play. Oh, no, no. The kids will go ahead performing their hit single uh, as they were planned to do. And just mind to it. Oh, well, well, no, no, no. You can't do that. It's, it's our song. Well, technically, it's not. As you'll see from the... Paragraph 5C of the contract, signed and agreed to by Mr. Johnny Jones. The music delivered to Cirque Music Publishing was the product of Dave Peacock and Johnny Sprott, a.k.a. Fly and Z. Flora Griffin and Joel Drainpipe Richards. It says all that. Furthermore, in paragraph 7A, any public disavowal of said authorship will be considered evidence of fraud and compensatory action will commence immediately. What's that mean? That means... It means that if any of you were to make this information public, we'd sue for fraud. We'd seize every penny in your bank account, your cars, your houses, and Johnny, the shoes, off your very feet. Um, we got rid of the kids. Oh, dear. We better get them back. Pretty quick. Well, thank you for coming in, gentlemen. And thank you, Mr. Boyne, for bringing it to my attention. My assistant will see you out. I'll keep hold of a copy of this, if you don't mind. I've got very good lawyers as well, who you'll all be hearing from. Is there anything else, Mr. Boyne? What do you think? I'm getting on the train. Hang on, Robbie, lend us a couple of pumps to get on, mate. Yeah, me too. I'm skinned. Piss off. Make your own way home. It's all you're doing, this is. My doing? Yeah, you knew this was going to happen. Like, we end up with all the rubbish while your kid gets all the glory. I ain't got a kid. And if he is one, I don't want him. It's your big mouth that ruined everything. Yeah, I wanted to be honest. Oh, yeah. You just wanted to make a quick buck. Which we would have done if we hadn't listened to all your virtual band bollocks. It was a great plan and it worked perfectly. Oh, yeah, it was perfect if you had been giving away all our hard work for nothing. Perfect. Just like last time, mate. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Your great big ego, Johnny. I mean, why didn't you give me and Griff one track, just one track on the album? Didn't write any. We did. They weren't good enough. Who says? I said, fans said, Mindo sang his song at Wembley. What a load of crap. Listen. The only reason you split up the band, right, is because you thought you'd make more money if you had a solo career. And the truth of the matter is, Johnny, it was a bag of shite.
Listen, there ain't no room for you in our posh hotel in London that they're paying for while we do the rock sound. Listen, mate. I'm the manager. I make the decisions. You have to cancel. It's live. You can't play. It's three chords, Johnny, not brain surgery. We've been practicing. We've got five songs out of these three chords. Yeah, Jimmy agrees with us. We make our own decisions until your contract runs out. This ain't fair. You can't do this. We're rock musicians, man. We just want to trash hotel rooms and bite the hand that feeds. I don't know if Johnny is his father. Oh, God. Oh, no, listen, listen. Do you know what? There were so many of them, I don't even remember. I just know he had that ridiculous spiky hair, and, 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 and there was this... I don't know. Honestly, no memory. Oh, God. Look, I've got cheese. I've some cheese. I've got some nice... Look at this. Cranberries in it. Absolutely delicious. And this one... Oh. I can't stop eating it. Do you want some? Do you think I'm going to be sick? Oh, shit. Sorry, it's OK. I'm really sorry. Oh, dear. John. Yes? Can you bring her a cup of tea and a big pretzel? Yeah, we'll do. mustard on it in about half an hour. Ah, can I bring another child into the world? My life is a total mess as it is without this dragging me down. Oh, look, it's a baby. It's not a jail sentence. They're less work than Minto. Or even Griff when he was on the sauce. Same amount of shit and puke, though. Jules? Johnny, I oh, thought you were so here. I need to say something. Wait. I'm totally chuffed that you're pregnant. That's wonderful, Johnny. But you um, might want to include Trixie in this. You met before. Hey, Johnny. What are you wearing? You look like me, Dad. <laughs> I just thought it might be an idea for us women to get together to discuss, you know, family matters. I tell you what, you've done really well. What a lovely baby. Oh, babe. I think we've said everything we need to say, really, haven't we? You, is there anything that you want to add to the conversation? Um, 
I'm willing to accept that I am Drainpipe's father. Well, thanks for that, Johnny. But I don't think my husband or me two kids would like that. I think you'd drag us down. <laughs> You've got me number, haven't you? I have, yeah. All right, darling. Come on, I'll see you. Bye, darling. See you, darling. So, what are you going to do about all this? I want you, me, the baby, to be a family. I've got myself a proper job. I want our baby to grow up in a nice place with... Um... I'm talking about that. I'm talking about the band. I'm talking about the weapons of happiness and the single. Are you going to blow your cover to the public or not? They take us for everything we got. We haven't got anything, Johnny. You've spent it. I got one foot in the nursing home game now, right? I'm going to work for Robbie. What's happened to you? What happened to that kid who used to just stick two fingers up at everything? Wait, I've got three mouths to feed now. Not if you turn into a boring old get you, Evan, because we'll leave you. I want you to be part of a band again. What about this uh, responsible father business? Listen, you've done your responsible bit by getting me up the duff. Honestly, working in a care home. All <laughs> the poor patients. You go back to what you're good at, yeah? That's your music. I mean, you just get this ridiculous suit off. You look like a politician. Pile of shit, eh? 45 quid. You were ads. OK. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> It's not too late. The show's not on for six more hours. We go to London, break in the studio, hijack the show. What, on live television? Yeah, a double rock and roll swindle. We play the song ourselves. Take back what's ours. We'll circle suits for everything we've got if we do that. They're as guilty as we are. They ain't got a leg to stand on. I worked hard to rebuild my life after the band split up. Yeah, I know you did, mate. I know you did. But we're going to let some poxy record company dictate to us, push us apart. I'll say we go and smash it. Never mind bite the hand that feeds. We go and bite their fucking heads off. I hate the nursing home business. It reminds me of boiled cabbage. Come on, we'll take my car. Brilliant, mate. Can Robbie pay the petrol? It's skint. I think I can cover it. Me know. Let's do it. We know it. Wait, what are you doing? I've I lived here for 20 years. the sort of hairspray and moose combo. Shit! 
One. And this is the band we've all been waiting for. It's the single shots with free rock and roll. <laughs> It's like a it's like a bar of soap, just price and package. All this stuff is put in front of you and you just take it, you don't ask any questions, you don't you don't care about the truth. And that ain't punk spirit. Shut him up! Johnny Jones taught us what punk spirit is. Cut! Cut to something else! Face to somebody! That's my song! This one's for you, Johnny. You start down like chewing gum on the bottom of your feet. You're holding me down, you're so sweet. I don't know why you think. Fold off new. None shaggable though, but that ain't your concern, is it? No. No. You know, like me, you, and your mum, all that stuff. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. You know, I, I knew you weren't in any position to be a dad, you know. Listen, if I was your dad, if I am, if I am really your dad, well, what I gotta say is, I, I couldn't be prouder of you for what you did, you know? It was the most sort of irresponsible but tremendous like <laughs> thing I've ever seen. So, you know. Well, look, if you ever need help with your band, right? I'm always there for you. Okay? Yeah. All right. Let's get up, man. <clears throat> God, I'm more nervous than when we played Glastonbury. Why? Well, it's not hardly surprising if you're on drugs most of the time. I still am. No, Gaviscon doesn't count, mate. I can. Do you want to name Meow Meow? What's that? Plant food. Hello, hello. <laughs> All right. I am. Um, I'm going to introduce you to a man. It has been like a, a dad to me. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Johnny Jones and the Whippers! <laughs> <laughs> 